La 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 la. Part two. August the eighteenth. Thursday, two thousand and eleven. This is part two video, guys. Right. My legs are slimming a little bit. My knee is not swollen so much. Thinking about you, Wigglebug. Grammy loves you. Well, as you can see, I'm spread along the Chase Lounge, which is where Mom sits. Right. Hi, I've had a wash. Got my body clean. Done all those good things. As I was saying, I've had a wash, got my body clean, done all those good things, washed up last night's dishes, and cleaned off the sink, uh, boiled the kettle, made me a cup of herbal tea again, got all my vitamins out. Now you see guys, I take vitamins. You can't take too many of these natural herb vitamins. I take the right kind. I've done research on all these, as I've told you. Two bottles of water ready to take those with my food. This has 10 prunes in it. Um, 30 grams of flax seed, which has so much fiber in it, you will not believe. It has a whole banana, a whole peach, one sachet of oatmeal. It has 20 raw almonds which is eight points by themselves and it has two ounces which fits into this two ounce container of sultanas so this is a powerhouse breakfast i would not care if it were 20 points which it is not it's three for the oatmeal it is eight for the almonds so that's eleven Zero for the bananas and zero for, uh, zero for the banana and zero for the, um, peach. So we're still at 11. Two points for the flax seed, 12, 13. Uh, two points for sultanas, 15, 16. Uh, two points for the prunes, 10 prunes. Um, uh, 17, 18. So as you can see, I have 18 points in this bowl for my breakfast. And zero points for my herb peppermint tea. This is my second cup. The reason I had to stop the video a few seconds ago, um, was because my friend Debbie came in. And I had, uh, all those chewable kids, uh, vitamins that I had given to her children. And I get the bag of candy, as I said in my first video, I give them the whole bag now. There's not one piece of candy in this caravan, right? Not one single piece. Over there, where you see my incense lavender burning, you might see a little bowl. And that bowl, two bowls actually, one bowl has fruit. The other bowl has Weight Watcher bars, peanut bars, fruit bars, chocolate caramel bars, and toffee bars. That is in case I do indeed get a sweet tooth. Those have the points value on them. Right? Um, this is what I do after I... <laughs> after I pull them all out, I throw them all back into this Holland and Barrett bag. I put it under the table. This is just the way. Conjortin and glucosamine, absolutely amazing. Cod liver oil, absolutely amazing. And I put it underneath the table for tomorrow's morning vitamins. Now, sometimes I will take these throughout the day. I find it's better to take them all and get them over with. And that is what I do. I That's why I have two bottles ready to take them and get them over with. Hi. How are you? You didn't have sweets. I sent the whole bag over. And I have juice boxes for later. Okay, Kevin? Go over there and I sent the whole bag of candy over for you all. 
<laughs> oh, what a sweet little boy, Kevin. He looked in my window. He said, I didn't have my sweets. And I said, I sent the whole bag over. Go over and get yours. And so his mom was going out. But anyway, the reason why I was interrupted in the other part of the video was because his mom came over and brought me these very Signalex earphones. I'll show you now. They are made, indeed, almost just like my earbuds. She went to Port Talbot this morning and had these for one pound. Now, mind you, they are not quite, they're squishy. They're not quite as good as mine. And as you can see, it's got a little tatter on the side of it. They're not quite as good as mine were, but they are better than mine are now because, remember, the car squished them. I found out earlier when my husband, we talked for about an hour, he has ordered me my regular earbuds, but it's so nice of her to bring me these because I, they work. They absolutely work. So see that little bitty bud? You see that? These are the ones that I went to Porth Call for. My ears are so little, that is like putting a mango in an ant's mouth. Do you understand what I mean? It hurts severely, and it's not long enough, and um, it was horrible. So, for and in the pound shop in Port Talbot, which is six and a half miles down the road, she bought me earbuds amazing debbie amazing thank you my love all right on to my next adventure eating this taking my vitamins and drinking my water and my herbal tea which is in fact absolutely amazing i thought of something i didn't tell you earlier last night when I was having all the little candies and all the little things that I couldn't get enough of, see, while I was watching that movie, I um, realized now that I was craving something. And when you're craving something, it's always better to have it first, right? I was actually just trying out those things because I have never had those kinds of candies before. And I am not a candy person. I'm a savory person. I like potato chips. I like Doritos. I like things like that. Well, it never once dawned on me to go ahead and have a bag of Weight Watcher crisps. Which they're only 55p in my Weight Watchers group. And um, like the week before, they were uh, five bags for two pounds, which is like two and a half dollars. And that's what you would give, you would give l more than that for a bag of chips, uh, potato chips back home. So, and then I can spread them out and eat them as I want. But had I eat that bag before I eat all that candy and stuff, I think I would have been saved by just the junkiness. Um, I don't want to call it junkiness because it really wasn't junk. It was, it had, it had it was real fruit and it was from a natural herb store which was real fruit and no artificial flavors and things like that but it did have sugars in it and being a diabetic and taking the stuff I take and everything I shouldn't have those things that's the first time that I've done that uh, even the Valentine's party I had for my children when I was back home for the uh, February the 14th the Valentine's party I didn't eat any candy I never once ate any candy. I had a few slices of pizza, maybe one, and I had uh, a few Doritos, but I had things there for myself to eat. It wasn't until um, after they had gone from the party and the weekend was over, with all my children was in the house, that I had this absolute overwhelming feeling of, okay, this is the last time I'm going to see my children. For quite some time, I'm going to go and cross the country 5,668 miles away. And this is the last time I'm physically going to be able to hug them, hold them, talk to them, love on them, kiss them. 
and everything and it was so overwhelming that I binged. Now that was in February and I've not had a binge th since then. I do not, and I want to stress this to you, I do not think at all 100% that what I did last night was a binge. Because I had healthy things. I know I did eat it all at once, which in someone's mind may be sounding as a binge, but it wasn't. I counted every single food. It is all written on my tracker. It is all, um, what is the word I want to use? Um, it is all put out there. I have admitted to it. It's and it, I didn't hide and eat it. I didn't eat it because I was here alone. I eat it because I thought I was like having a movie and and I wanted to try it and and I eat it with the knowledge that I was eating it and I wasn't mindlessly eating it. I did it all mindful and um, with um, accountability. That was the word I was looking for accountability to myself, to my Weight Watchers program, and I did it uh, in full recognition that I was doing it. So when you do things in that way, you are not binge eating. You are not out of control. You are not doing something that you would not like others to know, and you are indeed having and showing self-control. So I just wanted to stress that because um, I don't feel bad about that. Uh, I, I don't. I just wanted to make sure in the first part of this video I had showed you all that and, and let you know the good and the bad and the ugly mean different things for different people. And we all do things that, uh, that we need to put out there for other people to see. We're not perfect. We are not perfect. There is only but one perfect. And you know who that is. My Savior. My Savior. Now, I will be getting back with you in a little while. Right now i got some work to do. And first thing i got to do is just clean the screen on my my te uh, computer screen. So I can watch a movie tonight. i got a good movie to watch tonight. The Bridesmaid movie I watched last night was absolutely hilarious. Some things they did was, oh my goodness. But And I've also got to clean the front of the television because I can see streaks. Because it was off and it's never off when mom's here. So I can see streaks on it and I really need to find the cleaner and clean that. I've cleaned the top three cabinets up there. And I, I'm i doing things backwards. I should have already eaten because of taking my injection and stuff. And I'm, I'm doing things backwards. I've... I've Cleaning the cabinets was not something I should have done. I should have had my breakfast and then went and taken uh, the shower and done all the washing and everything. It's always nice just throw the hair up because I am going to do the step box, right? It did start raining again. Um, we had sun for a little while, but it's dull right now, and uh, we keep having showers on and off. So with that said... Uh, I'm going to I'm going to get off right now and save time for later. My feet hang off the edge of the seat. So I try to keep them propped up without breaking that. <laughs> I had to put on a jumper or I shouldn't keep that foot back there cuz it tends to go to sleep. But anyway, that's how I'm sitting facing the table because I'm still with my hot cup of tea and tr it is hot I didn't let it go cold I normally do let my uh, oatmeal stuff go cold uh, it's good either hot or cold I wanted to make sure you knew that but I have finished two bottles of water there the strawberry water and uh, with all my vitamins gone and I took uh, two only two pain pills today. It is now 1, 2, three. it's 10 minutes to 4 p.m. And I'm just now eating my breakfast. So as you you know, I eat slow. If I don't get up in time, 
the slower that I eat, the better off that I am. Uh, if I can make it last, like yesterday morning, I had uh, um, three little fresh tomatoes with cottage cheese on it. And then I had uh, fresh chicken slices wrapped up in cost lettuce, real crunchy lettuce. And it's cheap, 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 cheap food. And it's healthy food. And you just wrap it up and eat it. And I had prop, the, the chicken wraps with the cost lettuce was 18.9 um, grams of protein. And, of course, the protein in the cottage cheese and tomato. The whole pack of tomatoes only cost me 99p. The cottage cheese, the big tub of cottage cheese only cost me 99p. The package of chicken only cost me 99p or a pound. Pound it cost. So, um, for three pound, and I still had half of the cottage cheese container left for another meal. And all those tomatoes left for another meal. For three pound, I had a wonderful breakfast. Um, less than three pound if you figure it out. These drinks you might think are expensive. They're not. Now, when, when I am totally saving, saving, saving all I can, I refill these because we have good tap water, really good tap water. I refill them and I squeeze lemon into them. Or, as you can see, all the crystal light. I put the crystal light in there. And yes, I still use hemp lotion. I always will. I always have. And I totally love it. I don't even have to go out into the sun. Put it on my arms and this and that. And that's the way we go. I like to see into my kitchen how nice and clean it is. Nice. See? TV is off. Everything's nice and clean. I've opened that window just a little bit because I'm kind of watching, keeping an eye on the kids. The older brother is uh, watching him. This window I shut because there was a breeze coming down my back. So I shut it. But I've got that one open a little bit so I can see the kids going back and forth and playing. And that window is open so that I can hear them. And of course, the door is unlocked in case they want to come in. They've just been in now and brought, it's on top of the TV, I put it up there. Uh, they made me a little house. I come and asked me my favorite colors and I told them. And, uh, it's a house on paper and it's got blue skies and it's got purple. It's a purple house because uh, it purple is one of my favorite colors. Like my little, you see the um, my little wrap there. That, that's one of my favorite colors. It always has been all my whole life. The only one that really, really knows that is my bestie Wanda. And uh, I do like bright colors as well. Uh, some of you may know that, but uh, um, and I also do like black. I get in a black mood sometimes where I want to wear gothic stuff, and I think that's fine. I love it. I love the look, and I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. We are who we are, and there's no no shame in expressing that. But I will show you a little bit later. On top of the TV, I've laid it now. It's made out of clay. Clay strips. And it is a little house, and it's got what I think um, is being a miniature piglet, a little pig. And from what I can gather from these children, <laughs> uh, Emily is three. Right. Uh, Carissa is eight. Leah is ten. Um, Callum is seven. I may be wrong on Callum's age. Kevin is, I think, 11. And Mark is 17. And Debbie has an older boy. 
um, I think he's 22. But out of her seven children, six are here. And now Debbie has gone off uh, for a few minutes, and she'll be back. But uh, um, the older son, he's really, 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 really good with them. He makes them mind. They mind him wonderfully. But uh, Kevin and he, uh, uh, Mark, sorry, he is amazing. And also Kevin, the one I said is a proper little gentleman, he is. He's the one who comes to the window and said, I didn't get my sweets. And I said, it's there. I give all the candy. Send it to your mother. Go over there and get, and, and fetch you one. Um, but they, they love it. It's all natural, see, and they love it. It's not like the nasty candies you get that's just sugary, sugary, sugary and has that gross sugar taste. It's not like that. So they like the ones I bought them, and I'm glad I did I did get that. And I'm still... I am still indeed finishing up my breakfast. This is what's left. Eating it slow. You know it's taken me two hours. I started it at two o'clock. And it's taken me two hours to get this far. And I have had to fetch another bottle of water. Plain water it is this time. And uh, plain water next time. And I w I'm hoping to get nine bottles in today. So we'll see you. See, I had to put on my little sweater because I got a little cool. It is very windy outside. Very, very windy. I'll see you in a bit as we continue. Hey, guys. Hello, hello, hello. It's Country Girl 555. It is August the 18th, 2011. We are still on Thursday. It is um, 20 after 7 p.m. I have had a relaxing day. My hubby called me. I don't know if I told you already. My hubby called me. And he says he does not have to go to the doctor tomorrow. They, the doctor is actually sick himself. So they have postponed it to September the 9th. And I'll have to take him in. So I have decided to stay at the Carib van on my own until Sunday night. Sunday evening after lunch sometime. And then I'll go home and I'm going to stay a week at home. And then I will have uh, five days of classes next week. Uh, I've worked this out with Allison. Um, I have my step box here. I can do my step box. I can walk. I can go to the beach. I can walk. I can get my exercise in. So as long as I, I did two classes yesterday on Wednesday. So as long as I get from two, three classes to four a week, I'm doing fine, as she said. And, um, I will absolutely keep exercising. The walking is the main thing that I'll be doing. And I have been walking some today, but not as much, uh, because of all the workout yesterday. Tomorrow will be a different story. I am going to walk my little tushy off. <laughs> right now what I'm doing is adding a part three to the video of Monday, August the 15th. So I'm uploading the photos. I have to upload photos on every one of my videos. Well, it was a two-part video. The first one, uh, part was a, a solid hour of me talking about lots of things. The second part was here and there and everywhere. And I still didn't get to add photos. So I'm making a third part. And I'm, I added just a few minutes of, um, of me talking video, and the rest is just going to be pictures. So there'll be, th it's a three part on August the 15th. So, just like I've said before, people who watch my videos, that's fantastic. You see the foods I eat, you see the way I am, you see what I do. Um, you do not have to have outrageous amount of money to follow a Weight Watcher program. Of course, I pay by the month, so 19 pounds I pay a month. And it works out really great this month because there's five weeks. 
Um, so it works out really, really great. But you honestly do not have to pay a fortune. You can buy Weight Watcher stuff if you want to. Over here, you can get Weight Watcher meals for one pound. You know, that's a dollar and forty something cents, whatever. But, uh, like in America, the Weight Watcher products are outrageous. I have said, I have always said, I told my mom when I was there this last time, I couldn't afford to eat. I could not afford the foods. I couldn't do it. If it hadn't have been for my mother and my stepfather, Rick, I would not have been able to eat. Because I, of course, was still getting my budget, um, which was half of what my weekly budget is. I was getting half, and my husband was keeping half for because he still needed to buy his food, of course. But I was still getting half of my budget, which only worked out to about 50 American dollars. So you cannot afford to eat on 50 American dollars in America. No way. And especially feed children. And, you know, I was spending a lot of time with my kids my grandbaby, and everybody. But had it not been for my mom, and I did stock up on a bunch of protein things and things like that, uh, a lot of eggs and things, and um, I had a special party for uh, Valentine's, and I had a special party for um, Harley's birthday, or 13th birthday, Fortunate, so very fortunate that her daddy paid for the foods and me and Jennifer paid for all the other supplies. I had sent packages, five packages of stuff from here to there of stuff for the party and Jennifer spent money that she earned. She has a nice job and she, she spent, but things are very, very expensive. And here is a different story. VAT or taxes is included in things and what you see the price on the box or whatever it is is the actual price. These little waters only cost me 29 pence because I buy them in bulk. I've, you'll see in my pictures from today I bought 60 bottles of water yesterday and it only cost me Tw I have this receipt beside me, 12 pounds something, right, for 60 bottles of water that will last me a very good while. I also fill the bottles with water, tap water. We have very, very good water. I fill the bottles with tap water. Uh, I replace them in the fridge when I want to save money. I know I'm repeating myself right now. But I want you to understand that I do not always spend the money on those. Those, however, in regular normal stores are one pound fifty. Uh, I did see them in another store in Porth Call for eighty nine p, and I seen them in one other store three for one pound. Now I think those are, you know, three for one pound was a reasonable price as I do pay twenty nine p for these. Um, I have bought the little bottles of water that you see for 12p, 12 pence, right? So that would be, 12 pence would be like, um, maybe roughly around 25 cents? If, no, no, tw maybe 20 cents for a bottle of water. Now, you guys know that you pay, you pay a a, pay, a, a dollar or $1.99 dollar ninety nine or 109 for a bottle of water, don't you? I know you do because I have. And for me to pay um, 16, 12 p or whatever for a bottle of water is absolutely amazing. And I can afford to do that and fill the waters up, replenish that, put it back in the fridge, add some lemon to it, whatever, fresh lemon, lemon juice, the squeezed lemon, or what, whatever. So I do do that. There are many, many, many ways of saving money and buying in bulk um, my husband's beans and sausage for example I have found a place that does the large cans that is enough in the can for two days right and I found a place that does the whole can of beans and sausages 
for 28p. So if I bought 10 cans, that would be £2.80, right? That would feed him that uh, beans and sausages for 20 days. So he almost has a whole month's supply of beans and sausages on £2.80. Uh, you have to look around. There's no two ways about it. His cereal... I buy in bulk. I found a sale. It was on sale. He uh, eats Ready Breck. I found a generic brand of uh, Ready Breck for 60p. 60p. So what did I do? I bought 10 boxes. That was 6 pounds. And it la has lasted him for months and months and months and months. Uh, when I buy his beans and sausages, I buy two and three and four cases at a time. So I don't have to buy any more for four and five months. When I buy his barley water, um, I found a place that they were a pound. Most places they're a pound 89. I found a place that they were a pound. So I bought ten bottles. And that lasts him months and months and months and months. Found a place that does his lime cordial, and it does it for 55p. Most places, it's over two pounds. Um, so I buy that in bulk. You can do the shopping on a budget if you try. Like me with my fruits and vegetables and things. I, I, I buy, um, let's say, bananas. Bananas. For instance, I can buy those in bulk if you go late to an ASDA and they've bagged up the bananas that ha have started turning like this with little spots on them, right? We know that those are going to go off and they've already gotten starchy and turned sugary and I don't like to eat them that way unless they are in oatmeal or something. I wouldn't just pick up one and eat it. You know I don't like bananas anyway. But my husband eats roughly 10, 11, 12 pounds of bananas a week. Because of his condition, his illness, he has to have them. So I ha cannot afford to spend 15 pounds a week on bananas to 20 pounds a week on bananas. There's no way. So I have to find different ways of buying them so that he can have good food and uh, the parts of it that's not good he throws away. So I'm not losing any money. Um, the other day I found two humongous bags of bananas for 99p each. Now this big bulk bags of bananas at Stokes would have cost roughly around six pounds and I had it for one pound ninety eight and those will last him at least five days if they are all of good quality and I have I promise you I have found better deals on buying bananas that way than buying them fresh 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 out of the store because for one thing they put them in coolants for another thing they box them another thing they throw the boxes around and stack them on top of each other they don't take care of them they bruise them they throw them in the buggy you'll see slashes on them so I have become a banana guru like a wizard because my husband eats so many of them now, soy burgers. I have switched to soy burgers because I can eat soy burgers with, and there are only two points on my Pro Points Weight Watchers. Uh, you can buy 16 burgers for three pounds. And if you break that down, you know that it's very few pence each. Right. There is also another burger you can buy, a generic brand. My husband can eat, and they are four points. Now, do I want to spend four points on a burger that's fatty? Not really. I'd rather have the soy burger. But my husband can eat the other burger. So, eight burgers for 79p gives him a week, for, a week worth of burgers every single day. <clears throat> he has a burger, right? And I go to different shops and I shop around. 
I go to one shop and buy his chips. He uses the microwavable chips. When they get too expensive, I buy the big, huge bags, and I cook them in the oven for him. Um, <clears throat> the same chip, you know, it's just a big, fat, uh, real cut potato, and you bake it in the oven on a wire ra uh, rack. But he'd much rather have the Mc sorry, I've drank so much stuff that I'm forgetting the hiccupies. Uh, I he 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 loves the McCain's uh, microwavable ch chips because he can pop it in the microwave when he's sick, and he and he he doesn't have time to prepare anything for himself. These foods are all adapted to him and his illness to pop in and the microwave and things so that he can see how dark and everything it is. So so it caters to him and uh, for 2 minutes and 48 seconds and then he's got his chips, right? If I do it the other way, which is less expensive, I can get a humongous bag for two pound and eighty nine p and it can last two weeks and I would have to cook them and it takes twenty minutes in the oven on gas mark eight right I don't mind doing that if I'm at home every single day I'll do it if I'm at home certain days I will do it I do it for him and mom um I can have a hundred grams of it it costs me five points, so we all can eat those if I want to spend my pro points on a carbohydrate. Um, there is many, 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 many ways of eating uh, and having foods that you can work out on a budget. And I have tried every one of them. When I first started coming here, I couldn't believe the difference in the price from here to America. When I go back to uh, America, go home and see the kids and mom and everybody, I am telling you folks to buy f to stay on a diet to be on a diet is outrageous now I've been I have said this since December when I went back to visit because I noticed the cost gas of the cost of food and I couldn't go in the store it was outrageous I tried and I I went through so much money within the first few weeks I was broke I really was broke and I tried to buy things that would last for a while, you know, for my kids and things. And I tried to buy things ahead of time when I knew that, you know, I was going to have a, a celebration or I was going to have them for the weekend. And I would save some money. Uh, I would save money out of my budget um, to buy the cheap Domino's pizzas, two pizzas for one price. Uh, if I knew I was going to have Harley for the weekend or if I knew... I would I would not eat myself so that I could take them to a movie on the weekend. I did this because I wanted them to enjoy the time we had together. So I wouldn't eat. I would go all day. I would drink plenty of water. And I would get through my mama helped me so very very much and she is a blessing and she knows it and I love her to bits but without her I wouldn't have been able to do the things that I done I I took my budget that I had of fifty dollars a week and I spread it out so that I could take my children all of my children even Jennifer and her husband and my grandbaby and do things with them and be able to do that and it was super hard so I know that you guys are having an amazingly hard time it is hard times everywhere everywhere I know my sister is contemplating on having a second job she doesn't have what they call food stamps anymore they were taken away from her because her ex um, paid a little bit of child support and then BAM they're gone so she has to get back on to get back on that but what's that happened for three and four and five months and they they don't have food so needless to say she's lost weight and um 
Chris has lost weight and things, and but they have things they have food for their children. So we do what we have to do, you know. We we find ways of, around it. My husband always has everything he needs to eat, and I make sure of it. If I have to go to ten different shops to find the cheapest of a brand and the best of the brand so that he doesn't have to do without what he needs, I will do it. I have no problem doing that. And I also make sure Mom has what she needs. If I have to go several different places on several different, you know, just keep going, keep driving or whatever, I will do it so that they can have their foods and things. And I will stock up on vegetables and fruits and salad mixes and tuna and things that I can spread out, like the pepperoni sticks down here at Philco's. Five sticks are only one thirty nine. Back home in the Rhonda, they're two forty nine. So when I'm down here, I'll stock up on those. I don't have to have those foods. Those are only foods that I can throw in my bag, go to the beach, go for a hike, go for a walk, and know that if I have a low sugar or whatever, or if I get too tired, or if I get sick with my diabetes or anything, then I have something to sit down, replenish, rebuild, and and get my body working right. Okay? So, if you're having a problem with eating, and you don't want to eat beans and potatoes, which I basically lived on when I was a young girl, because that was a mush, mush, you know, oatmeal, and I love oatmeal now, and I would give anything for a slice of bologna, because we do not have bologna here. I would love to have a piece of f fried fritter cornbread with a piece of bologna and cheese on it. I would love to have it. It would be amazing to taste that taste. But we don't have those things here. My mom uh, sent over, and I brought back one bag of cornmeal. So fries and cornmeal, the buttermilk kind, and I promise you that I put it in a container, and this cornmeal has lasted me for uh, about two years now. Since uh, since Ozzy died, since Dad died, uh, my husband's father, since he passed away, was when I had this cornmeal, and uh, had a friend send send me this and. Four years ago, I think it was, three or four years ago, Amanda, uh, Liv, my friend, she sent me Hidden Valley Ranch uh, packets from the Dollar General store. You know, you get two packets for like a pound, uh, sorry, a dollar. She sent me those. Well, I have just ran out last week. I, I think my video will show you that I just ran out of that and don't have any more. I had another friend send me Crystal Light. Um, and I, I have some crystal lights here, some that are really harsh and hard to drink, but I have learned to mix them with a liter of water and I can get them down. Now, if I cannot afford to buy any sorts of water at all, and I don't want to drink out of the tap, I can put crystal light in. You know how you get fed up on water. So this is how I've kept with my diet. Over there on that table, you can see a bowl. You see that bowl with the Weight Watchers things in it? That, I don't know if you can see me or not. Um, that is because they had a sale on, on Weight Watchers. Three boxes for five pounds. And in each box is five bars. Well, I don't eat them every day. They're only as a throw-in. They're as a grab-and-go. There is a snack, you know. You, It's something that I afforded the money for um, just in case. Just in case. The crisps, I, I was having the bags of crisps every week because I am a potato chip fool. I was... <laughs> I was born and bred to eat potato chips, guys. They're salty. It's a carbohydrate. And I have learned, here's another kind, two points it is, smoky bacon flavored corn bites. 
and uh, this bag has 82 calories it has 1.7 grams of fat it has 0.4 salt um, and the protein in the package is one so it's got a little bit of all the nutrition in it not too much of the bad and it is something that I could eat and uh, and be satisfied with a potato chip now these I found at a store locally to here six bags in a package for one pound one pound that's because I look further you look further than your nose and you will spot something although these are 55 pay, uh, pence each right when they're that price I don't buy them I buy maybe one to two packs so that's one pound and ten P that I can afford and I know that that week I'm, I've only got two days where I can have some crisps. I've, I've really, really and truly went off of them. When I first started Weight Watchers, I was having seven bags every Thursday when I went to Weight Watchers. And I was eating a bag every single, sorry, I was having eight bags. And I was eating because... I, ha I just felt like I had to have it. If I didn't have a chip, a potato chip or a crisp, as we call them here, then I was not going to get through my day. They were my saving grace as far as getting through Weight Watchers. I learned that I did not have to have them. Right? This week, I didn't buy any at all because I had some left from last week. And I have two bags at home. Right? I've got two bags here. I had a bag yesterday. Now I won't have any more. But when I first started, I was having eight bags a week. At the time, I was a sale that would do it every other week, uh, five bags for two pounds. Right? So that was a pretty good deal. And I would buy five bags. Okay, as I built them up, you know... I built them up. I would eventually, I, w I had more, more than, um, I needed it for seven days, right? So I had a load of these crisps. And just last week, I give away a whole bunch of them to these kids. And they loved them. Little hoops, Weight Watchers hoops, and, and different kind of crisps that I've collected up. And I collect things up like that. And I give them away to people who need them. And so, the moral of this little part of my story is, you can absolutely shop on a very, very, very strict budget. My husband is very strict on our budget. Right? And what money... That goes into my checking account for our grocery shopping and our things that we need. That includes shampoo, toothpaste, mouthwash, deodorant, um, any feminine cleansing products, any new socks or any uh, charity store um, clothes or shoes. Um, I didn't have to buy new panties because I got panties for Christmas for my daughter. That was a blessing because I was down uh, three to four sizes. Last, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, I had panties from my mother for Christmas. So that was a blessing. So the panties that I'm wearing now, they're brand new, but I didn't have to afford those. My daughter bought them for me. But everything I wear comes from a charity shop. This jacket come from a store in America called Dots. I give exactly $3 for it. It's a hoodie. They had it on sale. So I bought it. And I kept, my friend Wanda was with me, and I kept thinking, should I? And I would ask her daughter, Taylor, I said, does it look good on me? It won't zip up, Taylor. But do you think I'll be able to get into it? Well, Taylor, honey, it zips up. Look, baby, it zips up, and I got room, room to give. It zips. I can, look, 
look what Aunt T has done. Thank you for saying buy it. You'll get into it. You encourage me to. But it costs me $3. And so if you look around, you can find bargains. I have an aunt, Catherine, who goes to the Salvation Army thrift shop every single Wednesday morning. And I will tell you why. On Wednesdays, every Wednesday, they put you know, every clothes, is ha every clothes has a different dot on it. And the different dots on the clothes are in different colors. Okay, maybe this Wednesday, um, being yesterday, maybe yesterday the color that was every clothing, everything with that color of dot in the whole store, Salvation Army, was 99 cents. She goes on a Wednesday and she buys um, for her granddaughter, for her family, for herself, for her husband, for her grandbabies, you know, her son, um, everybody for 99 cents. And she can, you know, and I do the same thing. I am a thrift shopping, charity shopping, aholic. <laughs> I buy my dresses from thrift shops. I buy them when they are buy one, get one free. I buy my this t-shirt, like, buy one, get one free for two pounds, so I'm paying a pound for it. You know, um, I know that I'll eventually need new bras because the sports bras are so loose on me, I don't know what to do. But I was lucky to be able to find five sports bras at the Little Woods catalog shop for one pound a piece. Now these are mega crisscross in the back strap uh, sports bras. They are absolutely fantastic. They were too little for me when I bought them and now they fit me perfect. You have to think ahead. If you're on a journey and I am on a amazing journey to lose weight and get to where I want Every single day I pray to God to find the things that I need to get through the day, to have Him in my heart, to know and feel Him in my heart, and be blessed and bless someone else. And if I can do those things and get through my day, then I am the most luckiest person in the world. And I thank God for that every single day. If you want to get up and move your butt if you want to take that step over that threshold which is your door it's one step one step out into the world stop being a hermit get up move your butt do those things you can do it if you're on disability if you're on incapacity if you're on any of those things I'm not um, I, I I still think that I can overcome and 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 I still think that I'm young enough to be able to get my body in shape so that I can work some. I want that so bad I can't stand it. I pray about it every single day, uh, helping other people for a couple of hours a week, doing something like that is what I'm doing. And I do it free, no money. I don't get paid anything. I, I have no funds like that. I worked for Oxfam Charity for the children's clothing, and I did that. And I did that for a while. I would sit down on a stool and steam clean their clothing. I would price their clothes and do things like that. And um, I have put an application at the cancer, uh, 10 of us, uh, charity shop just for a couple of hours a week only two hours a week just to give my time there are things you can do people and God wants you to he wants you to help somebody else and I think he might be using me right now to let you know that God bless you all I know I've kept you long I love you very much that's how we roll I've had a blessed day and I hope you have too I'll be praying for you in hopes that you're praying for me. 
I love you guys. Ta-da. That means bye.